witty introduction here. This is told to someone. First question is from the Gingerhead Man who asked me in a response to a comment I made on a different video, somebody else's video, about the Flint water crisis. This isn't about the, the, the question's not about the Flint water crisis. That's, that's how I knew it was to tell it to someone. The question is, what's something you really resent paying for? I, I resent paying for the wrong lottery ticket because I, I I wanted one that won and I and it didn't win. So I kind of resent paying for that a lot. Like so I I knew it wasn't gonna win, so to be fair, I, I knew it wasn't gonna win. So I yeah. Uh, it's my fault, okay? My fault. I didn't know the future. Next question is from uh Matt Yebs. Now that we've exhausted the duck eggs, can we move on to pheasants? Are they considered fair game? Boom, boom. Yes, boom, boom, insinuating that you're going to shoot the pheasants. And I don't know much about pheasants because, you know, you know, we don't have them here. There's no pheasants around here, only a bunch of frogs who are croaking. And you can't shoot frogs, well, you can shoot frogs, but, you know, they sort of... There's nothing left anymore if you shoot a frog with a, any decent kind of gun, apparently. Not that I tried it. Next question is from um, Kate Van. What do you taste like this week? Oh, ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I've been drinking this. And that changes the flavour of everything. So today it tastes like stevia. I don't like stevia. Next question is from um, 24V Logic. I don't know whether that's 24V, as in 24 on one side versus logic on the other side, or it's 24 volt logic. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but here it is anyway. Am I better off in the mainstream or some other stream of media? Well, um, you'd be better off in the mainstream of media um, because they actually give you money to be in the mainstream of media, even though, even though the, uh, the less, um, the, the less well-travelled streams um, actually get more views because people who are rich like to um, give you money to say stuff. Apparently. I'm standing, well, it's not in a stream, it's a pond. And I'm not actually standing in the pond, I'm standing surrounded by the pond on a little sort of pontoon bridge thing. So I don't actually know what it's like to stand in a stream. Mostly. Next question is from Dud V2. Why doesn't study link like me and how can I uh, make them like me so I can study for free? Well, you could try other ways of studying for free, which is just go go home and find some books and study, or find an internet. I think there's an internet somewhere in where you're, you are right now. You're possibly looking at it. And you can study on that, but you won't get any actual qualifications. You will just learn how to do stuff if you actually, um, if you actually take the knowledge that you do while studying and actually apply it to doing stuff but you won't get any actual piece of paper with qualifications on it um, unless you actually print it out yourself. Next question is from Charlene Swallows. How many carrots does it take to make a ginger? No, they don't. They don't. I tried. Um, you eat a lot of carrots and then you become orange, not ginger. I am ginger and not orange. Um, you see where the problem is? Yes, I didn't know Donald Trump ate carrots either and I'm just making stuff up because it's actually McDonald's that he eats and I don't want that colour complexion at all. And KFC, he eats KFC as well, you know. He swaps between them apparently. And two scoops! Everybody else get one. Next question is from 
empirical mind. If humans have evolved from a single-celled bacteria, uh, and given that we are still evolving, what will I evolve into if I'm planning to, uh, I'm being, still being around in a hundred million years? Thanks. So, well, um, if you're still around in a hundred million years, I, th I assume you'll be um, a bunch of disassociated atoms on a uh, uh, burning crisp of a um, world that has been killed by global warming. Or something mostly disassociated from each other but you'll still be here in spirit and by in spirit I mean nothing <laughs> next question is from Mr Rasmussen if you're one of my top three favorite Aussie have you ever met Miss Crit or cooking with karma in real life if you did did you all mention to each other how awesome you three are well yes yes except except they I, I mentioned how awesome they were, and um, and they were mentioned as being awesome, and um, and they don't know who I am still. Well, I did. Well, they know who I am. They just pretend to not know, apparently. Um, you know, but I think one of them's got a baby now, and and uh, the other one, I don't know, but. They, they, they don't live around in Melbourne, so I don't keep in touch with them much, except at VidCon if they come. And then I'll say hi for you, whoever you were. I lost which one it was, Mr Rasmussen. I'll tell them Mr Rasmussen said hi. <sighs> Did Junior Headman ask, which fingle, fi, fictional character would you be the most boring to meet in real life? I think, I think Jesus would be, um, yeah, he's a bit preachy. He's a bit preachy. It's, it'd be like, you know, ha having a, a dinner with a vegan and most of the food is meat. Except if you took him to the temple and there were bankers there because he would sort of whip them and I'd help. So that, that would be the only time Jesus would be fun when he was whipping bankers. That would be fun. I, I'd, I'd like to whip bankers with a, with a deity. That, that would be a good good night out. So, no. No, I, I can't think of anybody at the moment who would be a fictional character and be really boring. Because, well, fiction... Yeah, it, p boring people are in real life. Fictional characters, the ones that I've actually heard of, are a, a, a figment of our imagination. Imagination soaring and thinking of wild stuff that that real people never do like, not be boring. Next question is from Joe Freddy. What is the greatest danger to modern civilization? The moon Nazis, hollow earth reptilians, or the tiny fingered Cheeto faced ferret wearing shit gibbon? There's no difference between those three things. There really isn't. Moon Nazis, Hollow Earth Reptilians, Tiny Face Fingered, she Cheeto Ferret Wearing, Chick Gibbon. I mean, except the Chick Gibbon has his name on buildings. That's it. That's the only difference that I can see, that I can think of, or that I can make up on the spot. So, that I, I don't know why you even ask this question, really. I mean, we're all in peril as it is. This is not the time to ask whether it's a problem, it's to, to ask, what are we going to do about it? Oh, I don't know. Sputnik asks the last question for the day. Have you met the red, ever met the red, red, rich man? If so, did he fix my, any pipes for you while he was around? Well, I don't know whether you meant fi literally or figuratively or metaphorically, so I'd say yes. I've met a man who had a wrench. I assume he might be the wrench man, or he could um, have been um, Mario. And in that case, by fixing my pipes, um, that would be um, rescuing the princess, and he did that too. I, I, was, I, I threw all the barrels I could, but he still rescued the princess. And um, I... I I'll, I'll get it. Uh, I'll get him eventually. I'll, I will throw those barrels harder and faster, and I will get him.
one day. One day. That'll teach him to rescue the princess. What if she didn't want to be rescued? That's what I was asking. Nobody, because I'm standing in the middle of a pond. That's it for this somewhat disturbing episode of Tell Someone. If you would like to ask a question, then ask me a question in the question asking place below. Below this video. Not some random video about the Flint water crisis where, they, where there's lead in the water and stuff. This one. This one. Or you can answer this dovetail question. Again, in this video, not the other videos. Yes, that dovetail question. I'm dangerously talented and I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I've turned this off now. Because I don't have a cool sign off or anything. Bye.